why I thrift. I thrift because I'm bougie on a budget. You see this? Time will bring the red all in the lot for me. There will be no remnants, no trace, no residual. We'll feel lands within you. Then you will remember me. Um, Lyric Beauty. This is the color Slip. Love this down. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika E and welcome back to another weekly vlog. I know, I know the hair is good, right? It's good. It's good. And guess where it's from? You nice. It is stunning. Okay. This is their easy contour V park unit. So this is the sister unit to the unit that I have on last week it has the same technology within it it has the drawstring in the back when i say it's fitting snug girl it is fitting snug she is not going anywhere i have her clipped down on the side and i'm not even going to hold you like i tried to <laughs> create a tutorial for you guys as far as what i did with the leave out here it's looking really really good Okay, so I originally tried to do the leave out with just one curling my natural hair mm, that works, but then again, it didn't work because it wasn't matching the texture of this hair. And then I thought about wetting it, but then I was like, hold on, hold on. Let me get on YouTube University and figure out how the girls are making this blend. And so what I found was they were using the crochet method. I'm not I'm not good at it. I just did it. Okay. So you just loop the cro put the crochet needle through where your leave out is. I'll pop up some of the images on the screen and then you pull the hair through and then just kind of flop it over. I know I did a horrible job discussing it, but it works. Um, I seen Ivy and OG hair girly from YouTube do it again. I will pop up some of her imagery on the screen. I'll even link the videos down below. The technique is, is important, but the hair, baby, y'all, it's so good. 
it is so good so when i got it out of the box the hair in my opinion was a little stiff so i instantly knew that i was going to wash and condition the hair and this is the hair washed and conditioned no product okay i for the fall i am going to be living in just messy almost unkept hair whether it be with like this v part or with my other unice unit that you can wear straight and curly i just don't want to kind of fuss with it you know what i'm saying just let it do what it's going to do and that is what this unit is giving it is so good i'm telling you it is good so if you're interested in this unit make sure to click the link down below and shop you will not be disappointed it is everything okay now moving on so i am fully dressed hair makeup and everything because we're finally going to our doctor's appointment so several blogs back i told you guys about my extreme pms symptoms and how it really takes me for a whirlwind i got a lot of advice from you guys raspberry tea changing up the diet um not consuming as much caffeine and um dairy all of the above i did last month and it really really helped however i am going to see my gyno today just so she can you know run a little test i am fearful of cysts on my ovaries or even fibroids i don't want any of them in jesus name baby we 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 don't want that okay however i don't want to be naive and i want to get my myself, myself checked out so we are dressed for the day so let me show you guys the ootd so on the top you already know this is a thrifted button up that I picked up from the men's department i have it kind of half tucked french tuck um i have this brown belt this is thrifted as well i have on my tiffany cuff dupe that i showed you guys last vlog this is from amazon it will be linked down below i have on my vcia hoops vcia pearl necklace and the anna luisa necklace and let me show you the bottom all right so hopefully you guys can see so on the bottom these are thrifted pants as well i diy these jeans these are vintage calvin klein jeans i just kind of put a slash on either side of the pocket all you do is just kind of lay them flat like you're going to iron them and you just make one cut halfway to like so you start on the outside and you cut to like the midpoint of the leg love that these are very very long so i cuff them cuffed or turn up jeans are trending this fall so i really like just how comfortable elevated yet chic and simple this look is perfect for the doctor i think so anywho that is the fit on the bottom i am going to be wearing my trusty cider mesh flat so get too close now these are a little dirty on the soles but i love them i love that they are nice flesh tone it is like a neutral it's like you're wearing a shoe but you're not wearing a shoe oops and it has a nice little mary jane strap a nice kind of squared but slightly rounded off almost almond type toe love that and then i'm going to be pairing it with these glasses child let me get the hair all out <clears throat> these glasses so these glasses are old from pre people however i think they are still available the hair is giving me 70s baddies so i decided to go with an oversized sunny i'm gonna put them on so you guys can see isn't that stunning oh that's good that's really really good it has like this greenish tint it's like it's there but it's not there again perfect for indoor outdoor perfect for again a doctor's appointment i am going to be pairing it back with my teddy blake bag girl i love this bag i love this bag it is in the color of the season which is this kind of ox blood bordeaux color i think it is still available on the site if it is i will link it down below it does come with a crossbody strap it has a beautiful suede on the inside i almost wish i almost wish i can turn this bag inside out i'm gonna try it at some point just to see if it is it too too tacky but the suede on here is luxury okay and if can you imagine a full bag with this suede look at that it is so good however girl my bag charms finally i'm gonna take these off before 
I'll put them back on when I leave. But anywho, my bag charms finally came in. I ordered them from Timu. Now you guys know I'm a Timu gal, okay? I quickly realized that the items that are on Amazon are also on Timu. Don't tell nobody, okay? But they're all the same. However, T Amazon, you're gonna get your items a lot quicker. With Timu, it's probably gonna take about a week and a half. So if you're one of those instant kind of gratification type of girls, go ahead and say I'm over there with Amazon. But if you can be patient, you can save yourself anywhere from five to $10 per item. So with that being said, let's do a Timu haul. All right, so after I got my son off the bus this morning, I went downstairs and grabbed this package. Again, I was stalking this package, okay? I was like, oh my God, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Again, I think everything that came in this package, yes, everything that came in this package is bag charm. So the first one, I'm obsessed, okay? This one was inspired by, I believe, the coach bag charm from last season. Girl, look at this. Are we seeing this deep cherry red? Look at the gold. This is not that El Cheapo gold. This is like nice and brassy. It's so good. It's nice and substantial in size. It's cherries. You guys know I love cherry. It's so, so good. So I'm just going to clip it on to the bag. All right. So I just clipped it to the tab here, the zipper tab. And I think that works perfectly. So cute. So that is our first charm. I'm going to be pairing that back with this bag chain. Again, look at how nice. It's nice and it's not like not too heavy, but look at the gold. Again, not that cheapy gold, very brass. It looks expensive, but it was not. I think none of these bag charms were over $5. You hear me? None were over five. Okay, so let's see. I had to go off camera and get creative with where to clip this, but look at this. Girl, look, get into it. Look how cute it is. So this particular bag has a little clasp here. So I was able to attach it here and then attach the others to the zipper. Now, this would make me not be able to actually use the zipper, but there's so much space on the inside. And there's one of the little smaller pockets back here. So look at how cute. Look at how elevated and stunning yet chic this is. It is so cute. Let me show you the rest. So the others that I got, I don't think, I don't think I'm going to put them on this bag. I do have a pearl necklace that I put um, on this bag last week. And I think I really like that, but I don't know if it'll clash with this. Let's try it, let's try it. All right, so here's the necklace. Let's see. All right, what do we think? Is that a vibe? Or does that mess up the look? I think I kind of like it for today because I have on the white top. So I think I'm gonna keep it, okay? So that is the bag charms for this particular bag. Now I picked up several more and I plan to decorate this bag here. You guys love this bag, so do I. In my opinion, it is like a Loewe dupe. This is made with genuine leather, <laughs> genuine leather. Look at like the kind of pebbled texture to it. This is a good bag. Um, this was made handmade by Naomi of Naomi Crafted. I will put her information down below. She does not make this particular silhouette anymore. However, she does hand make bags and she does them special order. So if you have like a bag in mind that you are thinking about or that you want to get, um, I will highly, hit, highly recommend hitting her up. All right. I don't know about that pearl necklace. I'm probably gonna take it off. Anywho, let's move on. Let's dial up this bag. So, the first one that I picked up, again from Timu, is this eight ball here. 
and I love pool, but I also love like the the thought process behind an eight ball. I can't think of it right now, but I'll pop it up on the screen. So I just love this. So I picked up this one. Also, I picked up one that is just like more of like a rope style. I really like these as well. If you're hearing like a lot of noise in the background, they are doing some type of land, landscaping or something outside. I can't talk today. Um, so yeah, sorry, I can't control that. But anywho, this is the rope. And what I love about it on the bottom of the tabs, it has the word fashion. Super cute. All right, so let's go ahead and clip these two on. Okay, so this one, it was much easier because it has this hardware here that you just kind of push down and then you can easily clip your charms on that way. So I love that for me. Next up, I picked up another charm that is more like a casual laid back charm. You see the difference between like, I'm styling this bag up for more of my casual fits and that one for more of my elevated fits. Again, y'all, I apologize. The noise is actually coming right outside of my door. They are vacuuming the carpet outside. So again, my apologies. But this is the next one that I picked up. I love that it has a pop of red in it and it is the Ace of Hearts. If you know, you know I'm a Southern gal and I love, I love an old school game of spades. And so got this and then I love just the pop of red because the red is trending. So I'm gonna pop this one on. And then the last one, to go along with this cluster, where is it? All right, so the last one to go along with this cluster that I have here is Dice. Again, super, super cute. It does speak to the kind of game night, my type of fun, so I like that. We're gonna add it. All right, and so this is what this side is looking like now. I do have uh, a lot of smaller charms on this side. So I do plan on adding one of those really big red fur balls. I seen it in the uh, beauty supply store last week. I told you guys I popped into the beauty supply store. I did see it at the time. I wasn't feeling it, but now that I have these items in here, I think something really large sitting right here is going to be really cute. So that is the styling of this one. I like it, very understated. And then again, once I get the larger puff, it's going to be good. What time is it? It's 11.48. I have to hurry up because my appointment is at 1 p.m. Ooh, the sun is sunny. All right, so next up, I got another one of these. I just really like how kind of just almost juvenile this is but it's very clean and simple and not a lot of color because i've seen these in like oranges neon greens but i like the colorway of this one you guys know i'm a neutral gal at heart next up this one is one of my faves look at this i have this cute little bear and it says um love is eternal and i love that i may even let's see I'm gonna take the pearl off of the Teddy Blake, and I think I may add in this one. And it has like this little bell on it, baby, so it makes a lot of noise. I don't know, will I, if I put it here or if I put it here, kind of cute. We'll see. I'll play with it later on today. And then the last one that I want to show you guys is this one here. So this is what this one looks like. Love it down. And for me, this screams music. I love music. I'm probably almost walking around my home with like headphones in. Once I get like a like bigger house, I am gonna have like a whole music room. I love music. I get that from my dad. And so this really channeled that for me. So again, if I want, I can clip this one here, but I really love the simplicity of just these two. 
All right, so when I originally purchased it, I purchased these three to go together. And I think that is stunning, okay? So those are my bag charms. Again, let me slide on my shoes, pop on my shades, and I will see you guys in the car. We are gonna go ahead and head to the doctor's appointment carrying this butte. Bye. All right, y'all, so we have made it to the car. The um, doctor's appointment is only about 18 minutes away, so I'm doing good on time. I fasted for the first part of the morning. It is 12-12, so I am going to stop at Duncan. Girl, go. I'm about to stop at Duncan and get a matcha because I haven't had any caffeine, anything to drink, nothing. Um, I don't like Dunkin's like breakfast sandwiches, so I'll probably just get the matcha and then grab some lunch when I leave the appointment. I don't even know if this is connected or not. Um, yes, may I get a matcha with oat milk, please? Yes, ma'am. Medium alert. Um, actually, can I get a small? You want ice or hot? Ice, please. And may I get um, three pumps of sugar free vanilla in there? All right. And yes, then that'll be all. Yes, ma'am. You can put two Thank, Thank you. you. So I am like excited but a little bit of a little bit anxious for the doctor's appointment just because I've been dealing with these symptoms for so long it now has just become you know a part of what I deal with every month so I'm kind of nervous to peel back the band-aid and like really see what's going on but I owe myself that much so that's what we're going to do also y'all my mama just messaged me and told me that Frankie Beverly has passed away. And when I say that hurts me to my soul because Frankie Beverly was a part of, of black culture. When I say his music was at every family reunion, at every like birthday party, you know, Beyonce even did her tribute to Frankie Beverly, um, he was a Frankie Beverly and a part of the group Frankie Beverly and Maze. sorry. So I grew up on that music, you hear me? So I am about to turn y'all off and blast some Frankie Beverly Maze. RIP, rest in peace to a soulful, silky soulful one. I love his music. Some of my favorites are We Are One, um, I can't think of them right now, girl. They're all just so, so good. So I'm about to put on a smooth Frankie Beverly and Mays playlist and jam on my way to my doctor's appointment. I will see you guys in the doctor's appointment if she allows me to film. the doctor's visit um this doctor is the doctor who delivered my son she is a black woman with amazing bedside manner if it was not for her i don't know how i would have got through my delivery um i had preeclampsia, and so we had to do a um i had to be induced and so i had my son three weeks early she was amazing so as soon as our insurance switched over, I took this as an opportunity to um, revisit her with the issues that I have been having. I trust her 1000%. But with that being said, I had to treat this like a new patient visit, 
even though um, the last doctor that I went to, we had already kind of got the ball rolling with blood work and we were scheduled to do the ultrasound, the vaginal ultrasound. So I got blood work. She prescribed me some things for um, the moods that I have as far as the PMS symptoms. I'm not sure if I will take those or not. I'm going to continue with the teas and the diet changes and using the natural remedies that you guys have suggested first. And then I like the fact that I have the medicine that she prescribed for extreme cases. So I'm feeling really, really good about that. It is 2.38, I'm about to grab something to eat and then head home because girl, I left y'all on a whole cliffhanger last vlog. So I need to show you guys my vintage finds. OMG. When I went to the thrift store with my mom, I found the best items. So I'm gonna show you guys those once I get in, get settled and have my lunch. Y'all in for a treat, okay? If you, if you like vintage goods, Baby, these, these are good. These are good. All right, chat with you guys once I get back to the house. All right, y'all. As you can see, it's 3.20. We are back home, and I am going to quickly show you guys the goods, okay? Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and maybe even a little notepad, girl, because these items that I have are good and they are trending for the fall. So let me show you. The first piece, no particular order. You should have seen this in the clips, is this jacket or blazer. It is so good. Look at the structure on it, okay? Look at how it slightly nips in at the waist. The material is so good. Let me come a little closer. Look at the material. Look at the structure on the shoulder pads. This is good, okay? This is a single breasted blazer. I got this for, this says $6, but I believe it was $3. Love this down. I've been trying to find like the composition of this piece, but I can't find it. Also, I'm gonna be trying them on, so you guys should see it somewhere here on the screen. But for those of you who want to maybe Google it, go on eBay, Poshmark, Depop, I think. Um, this is by the brand, ooh, girl, I don't know. Something International Collection, maybe PC International Collections. So this is what it looks like. It's good, it's good. I needed a gray blazer in my wardrobe. I have so many different blazers in my wardrobes. I have browns, creams, navies, blacks, but I don't have a good gray. And the reason why I love gray is because it looks so good with that Bordeaux color, like in my bag, the pairing is great. And so I plan on pairing these back with like some Bordeaux, Oxblood, that color, tights with some cowgirl boots. It's a look in the vibe. Write that down. Write it down. All right, the next piece. This is good, but the next piece I gagged because I kept telling you guys, I want suede. I want suede. I want suede in whatever capacity. Give me a suede bag, a suede hat, some suede pants, a suede blazer, a suede, suede jacket, cropped or not cropped, suede trench. Just give me some suede. Girl, look at this. You see this? Look at how good this is. Both of these pieces were from the men's department, by the way. And I got this for $15, as you guys see here. This is by um, St. John's Bay. This is authentic vintage suede. Let me show you. Because I'm a girl that I investigate the tags. This is a thrift tip. My eye test never lies. I've been doing this for so long that the eye test don't miss. But if you have a question of whether or not you have natural fibers, i.e. is this, you know, 100% cashmere? Is this 
100% wool? Is this, you know, uh, vegan leather or is this genuine leather? Look at your tags, girl. It'll be there right on the tag for you. And I want to say I've seen this. Let me find it because I got to show y'all this. And the fit, the fit on this is immaculate. Hold on. Let me see. All right. Here is our tag. Mm. All right. Let me get close. Thrifting 101, look at your tags, look at this. I'll leave it here for a moment. You can see it has 100% the um, outer shell, 100% genuine leather. And of course the inside and the lining is polyester, but this is a genuine leather piece. And the suede on it, it's aged beautifully. It's in that deep chocolate that is trending. Like I scored, I, I could not have found this anywhere else. And for $15, this is going for like $298, $300 easy. Love that for me. All right, next up, this is a piece that I can kind of, you know, exert my individual style. So I'm going to be talking about um, personal style, individual style a lot this fall. And when I seen this jacket, I was like, mm, it's trending, but it's not trending, but it screams me. And it is this jacket here. Okay. This silhouette is everything. This is clearly like an old, like, army or workman's jacket or something like that it just like doesn't have the patches or anything on it look at the shoulders okay it's giving structure it's in this beautiful navy color nice sturdy zipper on this i picked this up for six dollars and i like the fact that it is slightly cropped i can make it even more cropped if i want i just love this nice kind of androgynous style to this this with some work pant and some ballet flats, you know, for that juxtaposition. I just see me styling this up so many ways. I can even wear this with like a bubble skirt or a poplin skirt on the bottom. It is good. And again, the fit is everything. All of these pieces look like they were made for my body. And I, I just, I can't. It, 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 was, it was just so, so good. And I told you guys last week that they didn't have, um, any open dressing rooms. So I had to try these on and then just look at my mom's reaction. <laughs> and she would be like, oh yes, or oh no, or whatever. And then we found a mirror and this is just good. Again, $6. Next up, I got a button up and it is just this basic button up here, but I love that it's in a nice lightweight fabric. This is the classic fit size 16. Now I love a good oversized vibe, but I also in the fall, I'm going to be leaning a little bit, not as oversized, a little bit more tailored, not fitted, but a little bit more tailored because we're going to be adding pieces over the top. And once you start adding additional layers, when you have a bigger billowy layer underneath, it just looks a little bit unkept. So that's why I really like the size of this one. This is an old Stanford performance. What I love about these is they don't really get wrinkled. Okay, so this is a cotton blend. And again, it's in this beautiful light chocolate color. I needed this in my wardrobe, just like I'm wearing today. A nice button up and some denim is going to be a vibe every time. You can dress it up, dress it down. I love it. You can button it like different ways. You can tie it, you can do the French tuck. You can just uh, button the first couple of buttons and leave it open. Love a top like this, paid five bucks for this top. And again, all of my pieces, I inspect them to make sure they don't have any rips, tears, or stains. So none of these pieces have that. Now I have one more clothing item. Now this one, this one is the one that I left in the store and I said, Shanika, I don't think you need that. I don't think you need that. And I was like, how realistic is this going to be as far as styling goes? And I said to myself, I said the same thing last year. And I let this beautiful, genuine, like 100% real fur coat. I left it in the thrift store because 
I had this type of rationale, like it's hot, it's Georgia, it's never gonna get that cold. You don't need that jacket, it's a waste. When I tell you all fall, winter, I, especially when the mob wives trend came rolling through, I said, oh, if I would have gotten that jacket, it would have been perfect, perfect for that. And so I kept that in mind for this piece. This is more of like an editorial piece or if I'm going somewhere that screams fashion. Like, thank you guys so much for putting a battery in my back. I've been seeing all of your comments about I belong in New York Fashion Week and thank you, girl. I think so too. And we're gonna get there. 2025, New York Fashion Week, we're gonna be there. All right, this piece. Look at it. Take it in. Take it in. Again, this is yet another suede piece. This is vintage, baby. Yes, we were at the thrift store, but this is an antique. Okay, this is vintage. This is straight from the 80s, baby. The 80s. Not a remake, the original. All right, this is full suede. Okay, this is black suede. And then it has, look at the back. It has like this kind of snake embossed print on it. This is made by um, The Legend, made in Korea. Here's the tag. Hopefully I'm in the frame, but here's the tag. If you wanna look it up, I got this for 25 dollars. okay? And then again, here's the tag here, shell, 100% genuine leather. People ask me all the time why I thrift. I thrift because I'm bougie on a budget. I'm telling you, it is so hard for me to go into department stores because I'm expecting this type of quality. All of the pieces that I've shown you. And I don't get that. I'm getting very thin, very cheap materials with a hefty price tag. And I'm like, no, no. I can find that in the thrift store. I refuse. I'm rebelling. You're not going to get me to do that. Now, if it's gifted to me, bring on the goods. Bring on the goods. But as far as my hard-earned coin in the deep parts of the fall and winter, and also these pieces are functional. They're going to keep you warm, okay? Love them down. It is 332. Let me show you the accessories that I picked up. They're good. Okay, they're good, hold on. All right, it took me a minute to find where I put them, but I have them. They are these hats here. Love them down. It has, I have a dream on them. I picked it up in the navy and green. These two colors were needed so much in my wardrobe. I do not have a navy cap and I do not have a green cap. Now you guys know I love my New York 47 hats, um, but I didn't want to get too, too repetitive. And I told you guys I wanted to be a vintage baddie, okay? I wanted to be walking around looking like me and not anyone else. I wanted to have one of a kind pieces. I don't know where these are from. Clearly, they're not one of a kind, but I love them. I love the like rope detailing on there. I love the pop of yellow, so good. This one, same thing. Rope detailing, pop of yellow, but the font is in this beautiful like lavender. So good. So this one has a little bit more structure to it than this one here. So I don't know what this is going to look like with my big hair, but let me see if I can try it on for y'all. Okay, hold on. Woo! No. All right, no, that's not gonna work. Okay. I, it, I can't try it on with this hair, but you will see this very, very soon. Sometime throughout the vlog when I switch out my unit and I put on my straighter unit, straighter unit, you'll be able to see it. So again, picked both of these up. They were $1 each. They have them in every color. So also picked up a white with navy riding, same yellow, same rope detailing, stunning. And then I picked it up in this red as well. <laughs> when I picked up the red, my mama said, girl, put that hat back. That's a make America great again hat. I said, mom, not, not, not all 
red hat with white writing is going to give that vibe. However, I had to take a moment, I had to take a moment and think that thought process might be the thought process of others as well, but it says I have a dream, okay? The good old Martin Luther King slogan, I have a dream, all right? So this one is a structured top hat like this one. So I got, again, red, navy, white, and the green all for $1 each. Beautiful, beautiful, like trucker style fitted hats. I'm obsessed. You're going to see these all fall and winter long. My pop of color. Again, I'm going to more so focus on these two this fall and winter because these are my vibe. My color palette is going to be, duh, neutrals. My color is going to be green and I guess navy is not really a color. But and then of course the Bordeaux, but I don't want to overdo the Bordeaux because it is going to be overdone already, but I'm going to wear it. So yeah, love these down. Anywho, that is it for this little epic vintage baddie haul. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the haul. And also make sure you're subscribed, girl, because when it's time to style these up, don't act like I didn't tell you. Don't act like I didn't tell you. These are all from my hometown, Anniston, Alabama. The store is located in Oxford. They're like sister cities. It's called Center of Hope. So if you ever find yourself there, mosey on in because I'm telling you, they have vintage pieces, okay? Vintage. Now, I've told you guys on this channel before, I'm a true thrifter and I like vintage pieces. Um, I will thrift your H&M um, and your Zara, but it's not what I'm in the store for, okay? It's, it's not what I'm in the store for. I'm in the store for that brown suede. I'm in the store for that... 80s black suede jacket with the with the shoulders okay nice sleek silhouettes that are timeless that don't date beautiful materials i'm telling you you won't really find them at your goodwills because the, their turnover is a little bit higher your salvation armies your your thrift stores and those country places pop in because i'm telling you the, they got the goods anywho girl let me look at my son Bye. with an old good good friend Randall hey Randall if you're watching me and Randall have been down since 2011 2012 so he hit me up in the morning for lunch and I'm like okay sure we had to iron some things out you know like in your adult age linking up with friends is a task because pretty much all all the stars have to align okay but he is in Atlanta visiting and I was like, yeah, of course, let's catch up. Um, he lives in Birmingham. We met in Bama. So yeah, we are going on a little sushi date, which I am so excited. My husband and I went to this particular sushi restaurant back in May. It was like a little double date situation. And when I tell you the sushi was so good, it was so good. It, the place is called Tiki Thai. It's in Midtown love it down i already know what i'm getting i'm gonna get the exact same thing i'm gonna get the sea dweller it is so good i think it has like shrimp and um fish but i can't remember the type of fish that's in it but i'm super super excited um i really love the fit today i'll show you guys hopefully like in a mirror or something when i get there but yes girl i quickly wanted to hop on let you guys know where we are headed so I will chat with you guys once we get to the restaurant. Sometimes it's soft as a misty rain. Okay, 
So we are back from my lunch date. We had such a good time. I wasn't able to get much footage because I legit have not seen Randall in 10 years, girl. 10 years. But I love that about me and the friendships that I like foster. When I see a person and it's been that long, it's just like we pick right back up. I'm reapplying my lip. This is the um merit beauty this is the color slip love this down but anywho it is 202 i told my son well actually he requested stem saturdays and what that means is we're going to do a science type of experiment lab or something like that every saturday i used to do like small science experience with experiments with him often um, and then it kind of slowed up, kind of, I would say, after pandemic, it kind of slowed up a little bit. Right when I lost my passion for teaching, I also kind of clumped that all together. But now that I've been away from the profession for a little bit, I now, you know, want to kind of usher in some of my, mm, what, what would you call it, skill set. Uh, with teaching with him so he likes science I love science so we are going to be doing the lava lamps we're gonna be talking about the density polarity all of that so I need to go into the Dollar Tree and grab some food oil like some cooking oil some um, Alka-Seltzers and food coloring so that's what we are about to do but I am rocking my Teddy Blake I am loving the Teddy Blake with the charms but anywho girl let me head to Dollar Tree and then back to the house all right y'all so Dollar Tree was closed randomly girl there was a little ghetto note on the door I don't know so we are at Kroger really didn't want to spend much on this so We'll see what we can find. But I also wanted to pick up some potatoes for dinner tonight anyway. So let's go into Kroger.
right y'all so it is much later on in the day about 10 o'clock as you can see i took my wig off and just kind of detangled my hair a little bit i need to wash it um, but we'll do that some other time i need to get this makeup off my face i'm going to be using the burst cleansing balm but yeah i would say today was a good day the lava experiment went over pretty well he seemed to really enjoy it um so much so that he said he wants to make another one tomorrow which is cool because it gives me the opportunity to kind of teach him about other things that are happening within the bottle today we kind of just kept it really light we talked about um carbon dioxide being released inside of the of the bottle and why where it's coming from and things like that so yeah when we do it tomorrow we'll talk a little bit more about density and then i'll probably just leave it at that i probably won't go into polarity just yet but it was fun it was fun to have you know something to do something to get him off his ipad and then something for <laughs> me to keep my skill set skill set going just in case you know i ever return to the classroom which i don't plan on a child or you know have like a tutoring session or an individual practice or something like that so and plus i just can't stay too too far away from the field because it is in me so we love that mm -hmm. let me finish getting the rest of this off video and now that I've gotten pretty much everything off I'm gonna go in with some of the burst eye cream just a little bit underneath the eyes um, we just got finished watching the uh, Fast and the Furious movie the newest one it was really good I Thoroughly enjoyed it, but it has me sleepy, child. So I am tired now. I wanted to show you guys um, some of the other bag charms that I got in. I decorated my, what would you say decorated? Whatever, I put them on my orange Teddy Blake bag. And I think it looks really, really cute. It has like a lot of personality and it stands out so i like it a little bit but if i'm honest it may be like a little much for me and what i mean by that is it's very uh casual and taste specific so it's like if i'm dressing down like you know a t-shirt some you know leggings oversized shirt or oversized button up or something like that I feel like, you know, the bag charms work and I love them, but I don't know, for like an elevated fit, the way in which I have the orange one decorated, I just don't know if it would like cheapen the look. So I would say I'm kind of on the fence about how I'm feeling about bag charms. I love them, but I don't know if they are like for me in the very minimal way that I wore them 
today into like um, the doctor's office just with my <clears throat> my Bordeaux bag. I love the simplicity of that one. That one I could wear every day. But like I said, the one that I'm gonna show you guys, I just don't know. I don't know if I would wear that um, daily, but very, very cute nonetheless. Um, I just added niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. And I think I want to seal it in with an oil. This is the collagen morning glow oil, but I sometimes use it at night. Just a few drops of this. It's intense. Intense. Okay. And then lastly, I think I'm just going to apply some lip balm. My favorite lip balm at the moment is by Merit Beauty. This one, you can see it's about gone. Again, definitely gonna be on my favorites list. Look at that. So smooth and like a natural just blush of color. Uh, and then lastly, I think I am just gonna go ahead and apply these eye masks. These were gifted to me by my mom, so I'm not really sure where she got them. If I had to guess, I'd say TJ Maxx, but they're like an avocado mask i'll show you guys in a second the lord knows we we need these okay anywho this is the eye mask so yeah, I'm about to go change clothes, get into some pajamas and call it a night. I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. extreme PMS symptoms and my cycle is not here you guys know the drill blah 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 I had my husband go pick up my prescription this morning and I am highly highly thinking about taking it just because I feel horrible mentally wise mood swings it's just a mess hence me not being on camera I don't feel like being on camera but I want to quickly pop in and show you guys this bag situation with the bag charms and go over it and my likes and dislikes so I really like this I know last night I was saying it's not really my style it's not that it's not my style it is just it is very like fun and almost juvenile and so your outfit has to match the fun and juvenile in my opinion so you guys have seen the bear which is so so cute the little music man down here and then the rope detailing here on the side so i have anchored it all with a necklace this is like a 
old necklace that I got from Shein that I don't really wear much anymore. Again, anchors everything and also gives me a space to hang the charms. But I get, get two new in charms. The first, look at how cute this little coffee or bubble tea is. This screams me. You guys know I love a good coffee, a good matcha, some type of caffeinated drink in the morning. And then of course, my initial here, I have an S and it's in this gorgeous um, leopard print, I think. Um, and you guys know that animal print is trending and I feel like the browns in this leopard print looks so good together. So it's like there, it's doing a lot, but then again, it's not. As you can see down here on the bottom, the Teddy Blake, the font is like a gold. So everything just kind of goes together. And so I do like it, I do, but it's just very taste specific and it's for a very specific outfit and look. So if you're interested in any of the charms, they will be linked down below. I will tell you if your initials is an S, this one is sold out. However, they do have other letters. So maybe you go with your last name or a nickname or something like that. I think all of the others are in stock. I will also link the Teddy Blake bag down below as well. And that's it for me, guys. I am going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Sorry, I'm ending it behind the camera, but I know my girls understand, y'all get it. Um, so I am going to take my medicine, edit this footage, and try to get out of my head. Maybe get outside in nature if it is not raining. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, girl. Mm -hmm.